My name's Alan Hart, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up one touch rules. This is part of the Salas Smart Home range. If you haven't set up your Salas Smart Home network yet, follow the link in the description below and it'll take you to a video on how to set that up. If your Smart Home network is set up, then you're ready to start creating one touch rules. So, one touch rules, what are they and what can they do? Well, imagine being able to switch off all your house lights with one single bone press, or having your heating turn on when the outside temperature drops below a certain level. Well, that's the power of one touch rules with your smart devices talking to each other through your universal gateway. You can trigger actions or multiple device actions with a single button press for your convenience. You can also set automatic device actions again for your convenience. Salas provides a number of preset one-touch rules based on devices connected to your smart home network. For example, if you've got a Quantrum stat connected, you can enable party mode. This rule will set the room temperature to 21 degrees for a two hour period. Let's set this up. In this video, I've got my phone and my PC up on the screen, so you can see that you can access your smart home network either way. From the home screen, tap or click on the three lines to open the menu, select equipment and then select one touch. As you can see, we've got a number of presets here. We've got some for smart plugs, some for IT600 stats like the TS600, quantum stats and then smart relays. I'll scroll down to the quantum stat and select party mode. Scroll down and tap add one touch. It'll ask you which stat to apply it to. Tick the appropriate one or select all and apply. Once saved, at the top of the same screen, you'll find your new rule. If we tap on, then scroll to the bottom, you have the option to pin the rule to your home screen. So we'll do that now. Head back to the home screen. We can now see the one touch rule for party mode. Now that's the presets that are built into the app but you can, if you wish, make custom rules for your devices. It's a simple process, and I'll show you by making a rule to switch this lamp on using the smart button on the wall here. Tap or click on the three lines at the top to open the menu. Select equipment, then select one touch. Select add a hand rule. I'm going to give this the name table lamp on. Tap on when, and as you can see, we can set custom rules based on the state change of equipment. Time of day, time of week, or if you're on holiday. I'm going to select state of equipment as our smart button is going to be pressed. It asks us which button is going to be pressed to trigger the action. I'm going to select the up button. You can add multiple conditions, but I'll explain that in a bit more detail later. For now, we'll move on to do this. I want to change the property of a device with my button press, and that's going to be the smart plug my lamp is plugged into. It then asks what I want the smart plug to do. I want it to turn on. That's all that's needed for this rule now. I could, if I wish, add another action to trigger later, but for the purpose of this video, we'll move on and save the rule. With the new rule saved, the app will ask if I want to pin it to my home screen. I'm gonna pin it to my home screen so that you can see that that action is enabled. The rule's enabled now, it's on the home screen, so let's see if it works. Ta-da! Obviously this is just one rule to switch the lamp on. I'll need to follow the same steps to make a switch the lamp off rule. Going on a further step from this, I could have multiple lights in my house plugged into smart plugs, and it could all be operated by a single press of my smart button. Now you might be asking, and rules, or rules, what's the difference? Or rules are to switch things on, and rules are used to reverse the action. For example, I've got an or rule set between my three quantum stats and my SR600 smart relay. When any of the stats turn on, the smart relay will switch on. To reverse this action, my AND rule requires all the quantum stats to be turned off before the SR600 then switches off. Because this is more of an automatic rule, 
I don't need to pin this to my home screen, it runs in the background. There's endless possibilities with the power of one touch rules, depending on the makeup of your smart home network. That wraps up today's video, an in-depth one. I hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions on one touch rules or any of the Salah smart home products, leave a comment below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.